Ashley. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, hello there, South Haven. This is Megan bringing you your Charger Nation news. The Key Club is raising money for UNICEF. The goal is $500. You can donate your spare change and this orange box located in all classrooms. Auditions for the play, Don't Drink the Water, will be held October 1st after school. Come prepare with a monologue. Need help finding or perfecting your monologue? An audition workshop will be held September 29th and 30th after school until 5. Any seniors who are interested in Bolt Buddies, a mentoring program bridging the general education students with the students of special needs at South Haven High, please see Mrs. Gibbs in room B202 for an application and more information. Book Club will be meeting October 7th after school in Miss Linda Johnson's room in room B107. They'll be reading The Giver by Lewis Lowry. Be sure you follow us on Instagram and check out our website at SouthHavenHighTV.com. This has been Megan with your Charger Nation news. Where else? Hi, and it's Bethany back with your fact of the day. In Utah, it's illegal to swear at a dead person. Hey, South Haven, I'm Jacob Duke here for your sports update. Our volleyball team beat Horn Lake last night. They'll be playing in the Clinton High School Invitational this Saturday. Good luck, girls. After a tough loss to McCracken last weekend, our football team looks to bounce back against OB tonight at home. Kickoff is at 7. Everyone be sure to go out and support your Chargers. Our cross-country team will be competing at Shelby Farms tomorrow. This has been your sports update. I'm Jacob Duke, CNTV Sports. Let's go Chargers! Charger Nation. I'm Cassandra De La Cruz here with Tech Time. Almost everyone loves technology. From cell phones to robots, let's face it, our whole world is tethered in technology, which has given us innovative hospital equipment and Instagram. So let's take a glance to the future. Imagine this. It's four years from now. You're in your kitchen cooking with Chef Ramsey or getting tips from Rachel Ray. But it's not them. It is in fact a hologram. A hologram is a three-dimensional image of an object or subject that is a photographic record of light interference. This hologram, created by David Dawood for the design of lab competition, is named Global Chef. Global Chef brings people together from all over the world. It suggests recipes, gives cooking lessons, and tracks your movements with 360 sensors. Can you believe? This is one of the many gadgets I'll be informing you about here in Tech Time. This has been Cassandra De La Cruz.